Hello and welcome to ISSA TV Online, your source for cutting edge information on how to take your personal training business to the next level. Let's go on to your next very important point. Yep. It's very similar to that. So once you get content on sites or you've found sites that you want to be a part of that are going to help drive traffic back to you or get you additional exposure, then you got to interact. You have to go in, read other people's information, especially if it has to do with a topic. So you could start looking for other topics that somebody's written about diabetes, go in, read their topic, comment on it, and then put in the piece of information that you're trying to give up. So like um, if you're trying to sell the book, say, hey, here's what I know about, some, about the topic and what you just written, but here's a book I've written that really addresses this. Or I have a site that you can go back to and reference some information. So then you could put those in. Those are called linking. And you get links back to your site. And that also helps raise your, raise your ranking in the search engines. So is, is there a title for this point number four that I can put a graphic on here? We know the other ones. Is there something that I can say to identify what that is? Well, actually, this is still point three. So this okay. is still marketing yourself. We're going to get into point four in a second, which is uh, meeting your users' needs. So it's, it goes back to now that you've established in point one what your goals and objectives are, and then you have to go meet the needs. So that'll be in point four. But I just wanted to give people some good information of how they can get more traffic to their site. So we've established write content, get content out to the world, um, go in and interact on these sites that, so that people get exposure to you. And so those are two great ways. Another way is you can start delving into the world of buying keywords. So I, I know Clark's getting a little tired because he's been at the gym all day pumping up those biceps. You can go into the world and start. It's too much information right now, but go online, look up buying keywords. Buying keywords such as personal training in Escondido or whichever city you live in. Or diabetic trainer. Or diabetic trainer. Try to find things that um, you'll get ranking so that people can find you. So if somebody knows Clark somewhat, but they just know his first name, but they know he's into diabetic training. All they have to type in is Clark diabetic training or diabetic training Escondido. They're going to find you. So that's when you get into the keyword traffic and start driving traffic to your site through these keywords. The other keyword thing will naturally happen by all the content you've put out in the sites. If you've written a great article that, that references and the title has keyword in it or has uh, diabetes in it, people are going to find that as well. And then they're going to find your information, read it, come find a little bit more about you. So this brings me to a question. So the more I mention my topic in that article, like if I mentioned diabetes like 10 times, would that increase the keyword, um, you Not know? per article, but the more articles and the more blogs and the more comments you post with your name and your contact info, it's going to get you more exposure. Okay, so you just got to be busy and you got to interact and you got to stay consistent out there going to these websites. So let's move on to the next. Yep, it takes some work, but... 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes a day can do a lot for you. Consistent, long-term. Because once something's on the net, it's on the net permanently. So you write an article, and you're going to get residual payback for that. The last little quick marketing thing I would suggest is trying to get PR. That's writing like a press release that can get picked up by a local newspaper. So if you have an event or you have a book, you can write an excerpt about diabetes that might get picked up by your local paper, might get picked up by the LA Times. Um, there's things like PR Web and PR Newswire that you'll want to maybe try to get those or, uh, distributed through. And if you get picked up by one publication in the nation, your $300 investment now turns into thousands or tens of thousands of dollars worth of marketing effort. Are there any free ones that a trainer could go to right now? I mean, is there like free PR.com or something like well, that? It's all kind of sweat equity. If you write a good press release, you can send it out to our editors all over the place. Magazine editors, newspaper editors, television show writers, news shows. It's just a matter of if it's newsworthy, somebody's going to pick it up. And it's just a matter of time and getting it in front of enough people. So that's just effort. And it comes back to you saying being consistent. It, you know, it takes work, people. This is not easy. And the problem that I have with a lot of people is the fact that they want something for nothing. They're not willing to go off... On the ISSA website, you have more tools and information available to you that you can use. And if you've used them and they have not worked for you yet, uh, well, then maybe you can go further. But we provide everything that you need. I'm even sure that there's stuff on press releases on the ISSA website. So again, it just really comes down to consistency. And that's one thing that I've done. I've been the most consistent persistent guy in this industry. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm in the position I'm in today. Exactly. 
So next we can get into point four, which is meeting a need. So you've identified your objectives and goals. You're, you've, set, you've set who you are. So in this case, you know, a diabetic trainer or a personal trainer in your case, whatever it might be. And if you have a product to sell, so you've now said, here's who I am. Now you have to go make sure you're meeting somebody's need. You gotta go find the diabetics. You gotta go find the people who need personal training. You gotta find the people who might wanna buy your book or your product. Um, and that's meeting a need. So you wouldn't go to a website that has nothing to do with, with health and fitness or diabetes. You're gonna go to those places first. You're gonna go where what's called the lowest hanging fruit. Find out, you know, start with groups and websites that have to do with diabetes. And then work your way out to the bigger health and fitness network. But stay targeted, meet your, meet your goals and objectives, and then go out and meet your users or your clients' needs. That's the biggest point. And, you know, all of these interviews that I do with people come back to that. If you're not servicing your client to the best of your ability, all of the marketing, you know, tricks and tools and stuff that you learn are going to fall on, you know, bad ground. I mean, it's not going to work because this business is built, even selling a book for diabetics, if you're not really providing an excellent source of information and then backing that up with answering people's email when they email you and being that guy that can be trusted, you know, um, you, then all of this stuff is not going to work. So it really comes down to that's one of the key points for me is really, you know, being a service minded person and, and doing the absolute best that you can for somebody. Sure. And then we get into point number five, which it's kind of bringing all the pieces together. It's once again, stepping back and going, okay, am I doing each thing right. Have I set a brand? Have I set my goals and objectives? Am I doing consistent marketing? Am I getting out and servicing a need? And then your, your final point is you got to get out your information so they can get in touch with you. And so that's bringing it all together, having your sales collateral, having your contact information. People have to be able to get a hold of you or it's all for naught, you know? So make sure you're always using your name. Make sure you're always putting an email or a website for them to reference. Make sure you've established a phone number they can call. However you want them to get in touch with you, they have to, at the end of reading an article or reading your book or reading your blog entry, they have to be able to find you. So make sure you give them that way. Well, hey, you know where to find me right here on ISSA TV online. We just gave you some great tools and information on how to expand your business, taking it to the next level. And I want to thank my guest and friend and business partner and the reason my website is growing to unbelievable proportions, Mr. Rob Wickens from Incendia Media. Thank you very much, sir, for being here. And we look forward to seeing more of you on the web.